welcome or welcome back to the name code where i share a list of baby girl names with you every week around a specific theme or topic for this week's video i'm going to be sharing with you nature name combos so i'm going to be giving you 10 pairs of names that are connected to nature in some way let's get into the names kicking off our list the first combo name i have for you today is the name ivy fawn now ivy is traditionally spelled ivy but i really like spelling it ivie just because I think it's a little bit more unique and fun spelled that way. So the reason why I put these two together is because I feel like Ivy feels more edgy to me, whereas Fawn is a lot more delicate, softer, and prettier. So I think that they balance each other out that way. Holly Snow is the next name on our list. Holly comes from the Holly Grove. Basically, Holly is like a plant and it's of english origin while snow means a fair complexion but personally when i think of snow i think of like the snowy weather just the beauty of snow and nature i feel like this combination would make the perfect like winter or holiday inspired name holly snow so pretty jumping into some more land-based and animal inspired nature names we now have the name fallow dove for those who don't know a fallow is like uncultivated farmland and then a dove is a bird this is just a very soft and feminine pairing like fallow dove when i say it it's very gentle it's just lovely to me we now have the pair sapphire moon sapphire is both greek and hebrew and it means of the gem so from like the gemstone sapphire but it also means blue and then obviously the moon is like the moon the celestial body outer space i love it though sapphire moon is just it has like this very like enchanting mysterious vibe to it i just think it's so pretty i really think that moon has such a magical and quirky vibe and it really just helps that first name shine so i just love how like sapphire moon sounds it just it sounds so good it sounds so magical this next name could be unisex if you like gender neutral names and that's the name sorrel dune so personally i know dune is traditionally spelled d-u-n-e but i really really like spelling it d-o-o-n similar to moon i just think the d-o-o-n version gives it a more feminine touch which i love it for that reason i think sorrel dune sounds so good together so sorrel is French and it means reddish brown and I also read that it can mean sour I saw a lot of negative feedback for this name online but I honestly really like it and I really think it works really well as a girl name or even a gender neutral name Dune is just a little name crush of mine I think Dune's so cute it makes me happy it gives me all like the chill beachy vibes because of sand dunes without actually having to like name your kids something like ocean or beach following that more gender neutral pair we definitely have a very very feminine and girly name and that's the name petal rose so initially i wasn't sold on the name petal and it's a name i have gone back and forth with for like months because i have lists and lists of names on my phone but it's really grown on me and i really really think it could work as a girl's name especially with like a pretty middle name like rose rose is just like one of the most beautiful names that works really with any name and i really like how rose just really just pushes that feminine and girly vibe for petal petal is of greek origin and it means leaf so you know like flower petal i think petal fits in really well with more popular names like poppy and posy but it's a little bit more unique and uncommon so if you like the more unique names it's definitely for you rose is latin and it comes from the rose flower and honestly rose is just a timeless and classic name so i really think also if petal is just a little too out there what i like about this pairing is that because rose is so timeless and classic i really think it helps petal not seem too crazy okay now moving back to a name that features the word moon because it's such a crush of mine is the name valley moon and i don't have much to say about this name but i think valley is such a fun name it reminds me of the name val and then like valerie maybe even valentina which is another huge name crush of mine but valley is just so fun and it's definitely a part of nature and then of course moon but i think this pair is so fun and i had to add it to the list sunny bloom is next and this is just a really happy name to me it's just so positive and joyful and it gives me all like these warm happy vibes but sunny obviously comes from like sunny weather the sun and then bloom is just what plants and flowers do in the spring but 
Sunny Bloom, like Bloom is so fun. I love Bloom. It just, this name is just so joyful and it's so pretty. All right, so for this next one, I'm really obsessed with this one. I'm so excited to share this with you all. And it's the name Mazarine Snow. Like, let that sit in. Said I went Mazarine Snow. I am in love with this name. So Mazarine is a French color name that means deep blue color. So I put this on the list for a nature-based name because when I heard Mazarine and I saw the definition, I automatically thought of just the deep shades of blue that we see in nature. So the earth, water, I automatically thought of the ocean. So I love it for that reason. But Mazarine, it's fun to say, it reminds me of the names Adeline, Caroline, um, any of those line names, but it's really, really unique and uncommon. So whereas I feel like Caroline and Adeline and all those names, are definitely like Emmeline are more common Mazarine is not and I love it for that reason it's so pretty and then snow snow is just pretty you know we get snow in winter it's cold it's beautiful when it first like starts falling out the sky and it's like laying across the land and you could do so many fun nicknames for Mazarine you call her Mazzy it's just a snowy name combo to me it just gives me like arctic frozen vibes but it's so pretty and then the final name on our list is another fun pair that i really love and it's the pair daisy marina so daisy is of english origin it is a flower and it also means day's eye marina is latin and it means from the sea so this is just such a pretty combo i love how playful daisy is yet i really think marina offers a little maturity and elegance if you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. It's free, it doesn't cost you anything. I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and happy YouTube watching.